Thanks so much for watching my buyer series to give you a little more information about purchasing a property in our area. So in the first video, we talked about how to go about finding the right realtor for you. Second video, we talked about if you're financing, how to go through the pre-qualification process. The third video, we talked about setting up a property search. And in this video, we're going to talk about purchasing remotely. So for whatever reason, sometimes people just are not able to come to the area to actually see the properties for themselves and put in an offer. So it's really critical that as a realtor that I act as your eyeballs for that and help you walk through the process to making a good decision. So in that case where you're not able to come into town, whether purchasing a house that you're going to move in for yourself or a second home or investment property, I'm going to make an appointment to go see the properties that we're interested in. I'm going to take the time and do a detailed video for you, walk through the properties and give you my insight to the property, let you know, you know, what I'm seeing specifically, if I see any issues with the property, if it's an investment property, like a condo, for example, those come fully furnished. Um, so I'm going to also give you a breakdown of like how the furnishing looks, any ideas on what I would suggest that you change out if there's a piece of furniture to change out or decor change out, what's the quality of the paint, how do the floors look. Um, a lot of the same conversation I'd have in a single family home, but it's a little bit different in an investment property because now we're talking about, you know, furnishings and decor and, and how a place is stocked and things like that. So I want to be able to give you that insight as well. If we're in a condo building, I'll be also happy to take uh, videos of the complex, of the amenities. If we're in a neighborhood, I also do like drive-by videos so I can take a video of the surrounding area for you and share all that information for you. Um, so that way you get a better overall feel and you can make a better decision on purchasing remotely. If you have a realtor that says that they don't do that for some reason or they can't, that's not true. They just don't want to for whatever reason. Um, you would be surprised how many realtors don't visit properties on behalf of their buyers and they just put offers in based on the pictures. Well, pictures can be very deceiving. They can be deceiving in one way or the other. Sometimes the property looks better and sometimes it looks worse. So as long as I can get in there and be your set of eyeballs, that gives me much more confidence in the decision going forward to you know, help you put in an offer on the property. There's only been one or two occasions over the past several years that I've not been able to access a property for one reason or the other. But in those cases, I actually had a contingency added in that protected my buyer in the event that once we got to see the property, if they were not happy with it, we could back out um, and my buyer could get their earnest money back. So that is how you go about purchasing remotely so you can feel safe and secure if I'm on your side to lead you in the right direction and give you the insight and the information you need to make a good decision. Thanks so much for watching. If you're finding me on YouTube, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I love to give more educational videos as often as I can so I can help better prepare you to purchase in our areas.